So the trailer for the Batman Penguin spin-off series has been released by Max, and it includes some exciting new footage of Colin Farrell's Penguin. We get a brief look at some of the other supporting characters too, footage of Gotham after the events of the Batman film, an exploration of Penguin's plans to build a legacy, and some of the gritty action that's going to be on display as well. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my breakdown and review of the trailer, discussing why it looks like a great new entry in Matt Reeves' Batman universe. The trailer will be linked in the description of this video if you haven't seen it already. Before I get into it though, if you want to keep up to date on any of my future content surrounding the Penguin series, the Batman 2, and other upcoming DC projects, then don't forget to support this upload by giving it a like rating and subscribing to the channel. But without further ado, let's dive into the new trailer for The Penguin. So the teaser trailer for the Penguin series gives us a fascinating look at what we're going to be getting in the first TV spin-off of Matt Reeves' saga. The series takes place after the events of the Batman Part 1, following the death of mob boss Carmine Falcone and the floods of Gotham, which have left a power vacuum in the criminal underworld. The eight-part series is expected to explore how Colin Farrell's Penguin charts a rise to power to cement his legacy. And speaking of his legacy, a lot of this new trailer centres on Farrell's Penguin reciting the story of an ex-gangster in Gotham comparing their paths. In the footage, he says, When I was a kid, there was a gangster, real old-school type Rex Calabrese. He was a big deal, and he helped people. If he saw you on the street, he'd call out to you. When I was 14 or something, Thing, he has a heart attack and dies, still holding a cigar. In my neighbourhood, they throw a parade in his honour, a frigging parade. It wasn't fancy, but it was a gesture, a show of love, of what he meant. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? So as the trailer reveals, Cobblepot wants to establish himself as the next Rex Calabrese, a beloved former Gotham mob boss who had the respect of all in the city's criminal underworld. We've yet to see Calabrese in the Batman movie universe, but he's definitely made his mark in the comics. He's a newish character in the Batman lore, debuting as Leo Leon in Batman Eternal, a former foe of the Penguin who's making a comeback. According to the Penguin, Rex Calabrese, known as the Lion, has ruled over Gotham through fear, striking terror into both cops and crooks. Also, when it comes to Rex in the comics, there are connections between him and Selina Kyle's Catwoman as well. It was long believed that Selina Kyle's biological father was Carmine Falcone, the former boss of Gotham City. We saw that this plot point was used in the Batman movie, resulting in a showdown between Zoe Kravitz's Selina Kyle and John Turturro's Carmine Falcone. However, in the new 52 era of DC Comics, Selina's origin story was rebooted, making her Selina Calabrese, the daughter of a mob boss who was placed in foster care at a young age. Raised by the Kyle family, Selina loses touch with her past connections until Leo Leon, who later becomes Rex Calabrese, is released from prison. It's unclear how much of this aspect from the comics will be explored in the Penguin storyline, and it's likely that it could just be a subtle reference to Rex and his influence on the Penguin's character and legacy. That would be my guess, and Zoe Kravitz herself has not been added to the cast, which suggests that there won't be any big Catwoman plot points in this show. But it's key to keep in mind that knowing Reeves, his love for different Batman comics, and the way he used some story points in the Batman, that there's always a chance that Rex and his connections with Selina could be explored. If the show is going into the Falcone family tree, then surely Selina will be at least mentioned. And again, it's quite interesting that they chose Rex Calabrese as a point of reference and comparison when it comes to Oz his role model. Focusing more on Oz though, you definitely see him start to come into his own and become the penguin we know, smoking his cigar, holding an umbrella, and limping around the streets of Gotham while making his way into a now destroyed iceberg lounge. Moving on, the trailer shows us a bit more of the extended cast in the series, and we get a sense that it will continue the Batman's tradition of pulling elements from Loeb and Sale's The Long Halloween story, as Kristen Milioti, Sophia Falcone, Michael Zegens, Alberto Falcone, and Clancy Brown, Salvatore Moroni are all included. Clearly, Oz won't have all things going his way, as Sophia Falcone, the heartbroken but strong daughter of Carmine, vows to fight Cobblepot for control of Gotham 
Adam's criminal underbelly. In the previous trailer, we saw Oz having a meeting with her, but in this one, we get some more brutal shots with the character, one of her tied up in what looks to be Arkham, and another of her screaming. Another rival of Penguin is Shore Agdashlu's character, and while she was not shown in any of the new footage, a lot of the action shots look to be of Penguin fighting some of her men. Joining this is Michael Kelly as Johnny Vitti, the Falcon crime family's underboss, and there's also Clancy Brown as Savator Moroni, an infamous former drug lord in Gotham City, who was arrested and jailed as part of the conspiracy to allow rivaling crime lord Carmine Falcone a rise in power. There's also Michael Zijan as Alberto Falcone, Sophia's son and apparent heir to the Falcone Empire. He looks to be in Arkham and in a similar cell that reminds us of the Batman and Riddler interrogation scene from the film. And finally, there's Renzi Feliz's Victor Aguilar, who is an original character created for the Penguin series, and it's unclear whether his allegiance lies with the Cobblepots, the Falcones, or another group entirely. Based on what we've seen in the footage, it looks like he will be someone who aids Oswald while learning the ropes himself. The only other character to mention that I'm sure many people are going to debate over is whether we might actually see Robert Pattinson's Batman pop up in the show. There have been rumours that he may appear in this series, and while that would be expected after how the Batman ended and the character's ongoing presence in Gotham, I'm honestly fine with them keeping this all focused on the mobster story of the Penguin. While watching the trailer, I never questioned where Batman was, and if the show can create that effect too, I think it will really work in its favour. I do think that we're going to see him at some point, but I don't think that he will be overused because the greater story is focused on Penguin's rise. This is often the pitfall of other comic shows and franchise series where they feel the need to have characters make cameos and they overdo it. The Penguin doesn't seem like that kind of show, and if Batman is involved, you'd think it would be done in a fitting way. How interesting would it be if for most of this series, Penguin has been building his empire under the radar with Batman still active in the city. In turn, he'd essentially be learning from his mistakes in the past and the attention that Falcone brought upon his empire in the Batman film. It would show that the Penguin is a new kind of foe that is operating in smarter ways than those that came before him. I'm probably completely wrong about that, but regardless, I think it will be interesting to see how they approach Batman, whether he's actually in the series, and how they explain him not being there for most of it. So now that I've talked about what was in the footage, what were my overall thoughts on the first official trailer for The Penguin? Well, for me, this looks like another thrilling installment in the Matt Reeves Batverse, and I'm loving the return to this version of Gotham, the expanded mobster aspects of that world, and what seems to be an even more compelling performance from Colin Farrell. The production teaser that we got a while back had already sold me on the direction that Craig Zobel and Lauren LeFranc were going in when it comes to the continuation of the story in Reeves Gotham, but this trailer sold me more on the journey that we're about to go on with Penguin himself. As Cobblepot speaks of gangster Rex Calabrese and how there was a parade thrown in his honour when he died, you truly learn his intentions and how he's going to go out of his way to carve a legacy for himself. We get a sense that he is coming into his own, that he doesn't want to be messed around, and that he will be that next remembered kingpin. I also loved the parallel to the film with a short of Oz in the elevator, which is framed exactly like the ones of Bruce Wayne and Catwoman, suggesting this twisted rise of a character on the reverse end of the spectrum. It's going to be interesting to see how the cinematography of the show holds up to the great work done by Greg Fraser in the movie, and I must say that so far, it's looking very good. Furthermore, while the other supporting cast members only get quick flashes of footage, what I saw of Kristen Milioti, Sophia, impressed me, getting what looks to be a more brutal and tragic character arc in the series. And it was also great to get a brief look at Clancy Brown's Salvatore Moroni too. There's definitely a big essence of The Sopranos in all of this, yet the footage still promises to capture the vibe of the Matt Reeves world as well. The small glimpses of action and gunfights are almost horror-like, and it makes me intrigued to see if the series can maintain a level of scale with all the drama it seems to be offering. The network is known for that, so you'd expect it to have all the thrills of this 
post-Batman world, yet maintain its deeper dive into the psyche of Oz. From an aesthetic point of view, the dark rainy streets and shots that show us the damage in Gotham after the floods make this world feel as visceral as it did on the big screen. The whole essence of this trailer just makes it feel like a quality HBO series, and I particularly love how it finds the balance between being the next project in the Batman saga, but also an instalment that individually captures the story and tone of the Penguin. We don't usually see that kind of move with comic book TV spin-offs, so with the potential to get this kind of separated, darker deep dive makes me very intrigued. Matt Reeves' Batman saga is really shaping up to be something special, and if this new trailer is any indication, it seems that every individual project is going to be tackled by talented creatives in the aim to make the best movie or series possible. It's not just about producing more content for the sake of it, and you can tell that just in this small teaser trailer. But that was my video discussing the new trailer for the Penguin series. It's going to be really fascinating to see how the Penguin show plays out with Oswald taking the lead and we've never had a Batman TV show before where a single villain is the main lead. With the Penguin it looks like the approach and medium completely works for it and I'm absolutely loving the crime inspired direction that they look to be going in. It will be interesting to see what kind of role Colin Farrell's Penguin and other characters will have by the time the Batman 2 comes out as well and hopefully this Penguin series can really flesh out those details and storylines in a big way. It's looking great so far and I can't wait to see and hear more about the series which is due to be released later this year. But what are your thoughts towards the new trailer for the Penguin series and does it get you excited for the future of the Batman saga? Let me know down below in the comment section. For much more videos and news on the Batman universe and DC, then subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating and follow me on social media via the links in the description. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been Cortex and as always, make some noise.